All right, guys, so uh, I got to mop this up to kind of see exactly how the axles are going to go on here. I may have to put a another tube underneath here or something because this is about the height that I want the sawmill, uh, which, I mean, this is kind of the height I want it to be when it's going down the road. Uh, maybe a little bit lower uh, when I'm milling, but if the trailer itself is lower than this while going down the road, uh, you could run into issues of it dragging the ground and stuff. I don't know. So, we're going to, I guess, put the axles on, uh, possibly tack them in place. Uh, I'm going to put a wheel on here, get the hub put on the, the spindle here. So I can kind of get this mocked up and just see what I'm looking at here. These are the old hubs and rims and tires that came off of my Log Arch trailer when I bought it. Uh, I bought that trailer used. Uh, it was in pretty sad shape. And some of the, the hubs had to be replaced. These, I have two good hubs uh, that I had left uh, from it. And these were the two best tires and best rims that was on that trailer <laughs> they're the ones that was actually still holding air and the best looking rims uh, that was on there so that's why i have those these will now be my sawmill trailer uh rims not the tires um i'm gonna have to buy new tires because these are pretty well dry rotted so anyways let's get this thing together
guys, there's what I got done on it so far. Uh, this is going to be pretty nice, I think. It's going to enable me to be able to mill, uh, you know, up to probably 27 foot long. I don't know that I'll really probably be doing anything that long. But it gives me the ability to do stuff that long. And just the main thing is having a little bit of wiggle room on placement of the log on the mill. So I think it's going to be pretty nice. It's going to make it to where I can do like timber frame kits and stuff like that. That's probably going to be what I start off on is I'll probably start making a lot of uh, post and beam uh, kits and stuff. Probably out of oak uh, because that's what we have around here. There's a lot of oak and so yeah um, if you guys are in the market for a timber frame building kit if you want to do all the joinery and stuff yourself and you just need someone to, to mill it up for you and you're here in the Midwest give me a holler at Hood's Custom Shop and you know you can find my contact information in the about tab on my YouTube channel you can go check me out on Facebook all that good stuff and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash that thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already make sure you ring the bell we'll see you next time